from the beginning of time, you see the chase, the chase. But you remember, the prophecy was given in Genesis 3, right? Mm -hmm. And from that time onwards, there's this chase to eliminate the prosperity. You, know, you understand scriptures now? Mm -hmm. It's a chase toward all the scriptures to wipe out the lineage, wipe out the, the posterity. You understand? So it's not as simple as it looks in black and white. Oh, this has happened. This has happened to somebody. No. Don't you see what happens? No, it's not as simple as that. Yeah, it won't even get into a um, book like Esther and all that. Yeah, hey. Let me let me do it now. I don't want to quench your spirit. <laughs> I want to quench your spirit. So, posterity. There's there's this throughout the scriptures you see a movement to get rid of posterity. Right? What do you think you're reading when you see Abraham and the king says, kill all the firstborn? That was a type to Christ. Mm -hmm. Think he was a psychic? You didn't know the spirit. Why put Moses? What happens next? Yep. <laughs> Cause you, feel and effect. you feel me? Yeah. Then. We saw a movement. I'm gonna leave that one for another one, you know. But I can I'm gonna touch a little bit, but not go deep in it, you know. God said, let me wipe off these people for this stiff neck and give you a new generation. And make it give you a new people. You see, Abraham playing a little Christ-like and interceding on behalf of the people. But the spirit taught me something too. So the angel of the Lord came to so, um, who came after Moses? Was it Aaron after Moses? Who was the leader after that? What Moses? Joshua. Joshua. Angel of the Lord came to him and says, I'm not with you nor against you. I'm for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hear me? And so he was spiritual to understand that. He broke ranks with the Lord there and then too. That wasn't an option. The Lord said, let me wipe these people off from the face of the earth and give you a new people. That wasn't an option. The Lord said. Right? But he interceded on their behalf. Okay. Okay. Give the people what they want, Lord. Mm -hmm. Go on through scriptures. You see the prosperity again being challenged over and over, over and over. The chasing of the light. Pure scriptures. How much time David was supposed to die. All that stuff. Yep. I'm going to give you a little nugget, man. Say I never give you nothing. You know when you're reading the book of Ruth? Mm -hmm. Remember her mother-in-law? Yeah. You are aware that it's through that lineage come to Christ. Yeah. Right? Naomi. What happened Naomi. to the two sons? What happened to the two sons? Oh, they died. What happened to her husband? Oh, he died and she got she oh, uh breaks. You do realize it's through that the lineage was coming. Casualties of war. War, gotcha. <sighs> Catch up. We're not going deep. We just yeah, the I got you. They were just caught up in casualties of war. It's through that it's through that lineage. Yep. Yep. That Christ gave. They just caught up casualties of war. Anyways, anyways. A lot of things happen in that book. Here comes the daughter-in-law who wouldn't leave. 
She's an outsider. She's not considered Jew. Mobite, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. She sticks around. That's an ingrat in the Gentiles. That's where the manifestation started. We're just skimming it. We're just skimming the top. Same box, still. We're just skimming the top. Yeah, yeah, I feel. She go with Boaz Union. And grafting and all that stuff happening there. We'll go on to hear that through that lineage. Romans do justice to all of that. But in any example, you have to use a pinnacle or it's flawed. And then we come back down to the pinnacle. And all of a sudden, again, you see the same thing like you said on Exodus. Then you born, kill it. Flesh and blood is not my enemy, it's spiritual powers in heavenly dark places. Go back Jesus. to scriptures, go back to scriptures like that when he says, if this was in, in, in Matthew, if this was if this was my kingdom, you have no power over me. Go back to when he was arrested and he said, If this was my realm, allegiance, it's an away game. John 18, verse 36. An away game. So here we go again. The fulfillment is here. So the posterity, it chasing the posterity to cut it off and Kill it. From it was announced in, in Genesis. Chasing it, trying to find it. Because God is hidden it deep. God is hidden it deep in the clothes. It's now finally here. So Moses type finally manifest. Leave. Came back after two years. Generation that didn't know Joseph, right? New king, knew everything. Out of the old in with the new. Johnny says, I must decrease and he must increase. So we already tell him about God is a God of order. You know, in scriptures, you don't, you don't see, not no swap shop thing going on. You know, and free for all. One man do his dispensation of time, another come and do his dispensation of time. Phase out, phase in. Not no four, five, four, three organized churches in one plaza strip and four churches on one intersection. The fulfillment was coming, Johnny had to go. One prophet lose time, whether he's taken up or he dies, another one come. Not no lap over and carry over. Catch out of order, man. Um, so we see the chase of trying to wipe out what? The posterity. Of whom the promise is due, to whom it, to whom it comes. But if it, it made it to the end. Fulfillment made it. It came. And then got duped. The, the deceiver got duped. The great plan of God. The deceiver got duped. The deceiver got duped. The deceiver got duped to the point where he throw, he showed his hand. Vegas showed his hand. As if he won. Hmm. Just to find out he lost. If you've been in Vegas and with the high rollers, you know what I'm talking about. Showed his hand because he thought he won. It's over. We won. Fall back. Right? That's a little bit of, um, you had to remind me yesterday too. That's the, um, the Jacob and the two wives. Yeah. The deceiver. He made a bigger deceiver. Yep. Right? May never beat up God's a deceiver. Outsmart it. So chase down the posterity. To here and now he is in the flesh. Oh, this is it. Kill him and it's over. Don't miss that jewel.
They made a song to say God's plan according to themselves. <laughs> no, God's plan according to salvation. Don't get it twisted, young fella. Don't get it twisted, young fella. Copy spirit. Sound like, almost like. Watch that deceiving Man. spirit. Watch that spirit of deception. God's plan was not that. God's plan was salvation. So, chasing the posterity all through eternity. And finally thought he caught up to it. And he, he's killed. I already gave you the jewel already about the sword and the side. And didn't even know he was deceived with that. Because he's not in the inner tabernacle. <laughs> when you mm -hmm. read Job, when they read Job, what is it? It's over now. Turn over your cards. You know? Yeah. Ah, that's all you got? Piss him aside. Done him. Didn't even know when he was doing that. Fulfill scripture. God's plan. God's plan. Yeah, left him just up there. It's like, ah, the door's not made yet. Yep. Piss him aside when the veil tore. Mm -hmm. That's the no, now, no break, no broken bones. Now we can enter. Yeah, now we can enter yeah. through him, through him. God's plan. So here's the here's the deceiver wasting his whole existence to kill the posterity. He finally killed him and realized all he did was accomplish God's plan. Mm -hmm. That just make you read Jacob a little different. Just talking to you. ATS. Yes, sir. Don't say never give you nothing. Bastards. Take off your shoes and stand on all the ground. 